Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. We are back. Um, today is the day that we get to see if the team that we built is a Stanley Cup contender. Today's the day. Like, we spent all last episode in the offseason completely destroying the lineup. And now we are here with a team that we think is competitive. But we will see if it actually is competitive. Crab people, crab people. Crab people, that is your button. If you are not familiar with this stream, this is how it works. This is NHL 23 on the screen. This is franchise mode. We are the Arizona Coyotes, and we are trying to win the cup within five seasons. We have already wasted, not wasted, we've already played one season where we decided to tank for Connor Bedard. We got Connor Bedard. We finished uh, second last in the league. We fell in the draft. We traded up from three to one, and we got Bedard. We had no players on our roster, literally no players on our roster. So we built an entire new team through free agency and trades. And we kept our young pieces like Chikrin in the lineup on the team. But besides that, we built a whole new team. We made some uh, interesting moves like acquiring Tristan Jari. And um, why, is, why is the name escaping me? Um, who's, the other, who's the other goalie we also acquired? We got Jari... And uh, let me just pull it up. Goalies, goalies. Demko. We did Demko and Jari. And uh, a lot of people were a little confused, but like we're going to trade one of them at the deadline. Like that's the move that we're going to make here. A lot of people didn't like the Demko, uh, Demko move because they think I gave up too much. But like go back and watch episode two if you want to catch up with that. The rules, by the way, we can't play games. We can't edit lines. Those are the two major rules of our stream, of our sim. We can't edit lines can't play any of the games we are the general manager the chat here the crab people. Crab, people, crab people you are my agm so this episode let's get to it this episode we are gonna check and see in year two if the lineup we built here with demko jari in net and then our forward group bedard keller tarasenko norris patches connor brown Barrett Hayton, Connor Sheary, JT Comfy, Trevor Moore, Sean Monahan, Thomas Tatar, Andy, Weger, Sider, Soderstrom, Chikrin, Haig, Zoom. We are going to see if this team is good enough to contend for a Stanley Cup. One thing that we identified at the end of last stream is that we need depth on offense right now our defense has a lot of depth in terms of our scratches uh let me see if our scratches are available here so scratched we got logan stanley and ethan bear we don't even have a forward scratch right now in the ahl coming up this is what our offense looks like jan yenik that's our best step forward which is okay i might call him up so we can sit on the on as a healthy scratch and just we'll have him. But hopefully Dylan Genther emerges as a depth forward in at the young age of 20. He's going to get better. He's hopefully going to be a regular pro. He's only 77 right now. Lots of room to grow. Nick Abergezi, I don't think he's getting any better. He's 75, but he's already 24 years old. Uh, we also got Jack McBain, who might not get that much better. So we're struggling a little bit in depth, but... We have Jari, we have Demko, so we have extra goaltending where we can make a move. Uh, I'm going to call up Jan. I'm going to make that move right now so that we just have an extra depth forward on the roster. Maybe he cracks the lineup. Who knows what the coach wants to do? But I'm going to call him up so that if we sim and there's an injury, boom, we can, uh, they'll make the appropriate changes. We won't have a four or a defenseman playing forward. So there we go. Let's sim. Let's see how good this team is. Head coach preferred lines. A NHL. Let's do it one more time. Head coach preferred lines. Jan does not crack the lineup, which makes sense. Good, good. Scratch. There we go. So we got Logan, Jan, and Ethan Bear. Perfect. 
Let's get to the regular season. We got to sim through the preseason first. Also, I haven't hit enough buttons yet. Uh, Main Ahaz asked if we ever came up with a name for the snail. No. Snail still needs a name. Drop all your name suggestions in the chat. Snail definitely needs a name. Go. Best button in the world. The go button is going to get overused like crazy over the next months during these streams. We're going to sim through the preseason here. Uh, we have a couple other buttons. We have a countdown. Oh, Alex Nylander! Remember when I said we need some depth? We got Nylander. Uh, auto assign. Connor. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. Connor Bedard got injured. In the preseason, uh, Liam Kirk is also injured, uh, but he recovered quickly. He recovered quickly, which is awesome. Whew, that was almost, almost pain. Uh, let's see where Alex is playing right now. Uh, Alex. Uh, okay, so it's preseason, so everything's kind of wonky. But let me see. So yeah, everybody's call kind of called up in the system some people like gary gary the snail uh what do we got two people like gary what's a good name that is go in it hmm barry the snail turbo turbo is a classic snail name because they're so slow sammy sam snaily mcsnaily <laughs> That's good. Hello, Doug Lee fan. Shout out Doug Lee fan one time. Where's Alex Nylander? Where is he on this roster? Oh, there he is. Only 78. He should be in the minors. Okay. So, yeah, I think um, Jan, Jan will be our depth forward. Alex, he doesn't crack it. But... I think having him in the minor is gonna it's gonna be very helpful because yeah we are struggling in terms of the depth of our forwards. The owner goals, our owner goals this year are for us to win the Stanley Cup. So that's very good. That means we have a good team, and I'm proud of what we built because the owner believes in us. So we're gonna get to game number one. I'm gonna get the bets ready for all of you uh, because of multiple interactions. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Game number one is Friday, October 13th, 2023 versus the Calgary Flames. I'm going to check and see the over under for November. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 games in November. So, start a prediction. Over, under. How many? 14 games. Let's set the over, under at eight and a half. Eight and a half wins. So, we're going to hit nine wins or eight wins. 14 games in November. Awesome. You're going to have uh, five minutes. Five minutes. To get your predictions in. Over under eight and a half wins. In 14 games in November. Start prediction. Awesome. So if you're not familiar. On our channel. We have this thing called channel points. We call them doubloons. You can bet your doubloons. On these fun bets that we have. So if you're watching live. If you're on YouTube, sorry, you're missing out. But if you're watching live, you can go and you can bet your channel points on, on the over-unders for our monthly wins. You don't win anything but doubloons. But these doubloons you can use to purchase things like make me do push-ups. I think those are still channel rewards on the channel. I like. I want to remove them because I'm very I'm not a very strong gentleman right now. So uh, my push-up game isn't... At where it should be but you know you can you can purchase those things you purchase hydrate make me drink some coffee or water posture check all those fun things so yeah bet on the over-unders get some doubloons eight and a half wins in november 
Hydrate is disabled right now, Martini Dog. Oh, we got to fix that. Yeah, I don't think we re-enabled some of the uh, things you can purchase. All right, let's see how the team does in October. You might want to wait and see how we do in October before you make your November prediction, but that's just me. We won our first game of the year, second game, third game. Uh, we lost our first game to uh, the fourth game of the series. So, so we started three and one, four and one, because we won this game versus uh, St. Louis. Good start. Good start to the year. We have three games versus Calgary really quick in the month of October. We won again. We're five and one to start the year. That is beautiful. Six and one to start the year. Let's see if we go seven. Seven and one to start the year. Let's go. Forget, forget tanks. Like we did a one-year tank, and we're 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 seven and one to start the year. What a team we've built so far. Eight games in, Tarasenko is lighting it up. Oh goodness, Bedard. Let's see how he does. First eight games of his career. I gotta scroll all the way down. Where's Connor? Oh, did I pass him? Did I pass him? Did I pass him? Connor, but where is he? Are they playing him? Did he? Did he not crack the lineup? What is happening? Uh, Mr. Bedard, who benched you? Oh, they they put in. Oh my goodness, that is. We need to send down Jan because Connor Bedard is getting benched, and that's such a waste. No, we're 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 changing this. Head coach is not doing what we asked. We want Bedard first line center. To be fair, we are um, seven and one, so it's not too bad. But he is in the system. Who sent him down? Where is Connor Bedard? Okay, hold on. Center. Okay, so he's not on. He's in the. Is he in the? Uh, is he in juniors? Can we? What is happening? Is he injured? Can I not call him up from? From juniors? The CHL? What? We want Bedard! Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Bring bring up Bedard. In the system. There he is. Okay, he has a contract. He has a contract. We had him on the roster. Why can't I bring him up? Roster moves. That's so annoying. Why can't I say I want him on the roster? Oh, this game is stupid. This game's so stupid. He doesn't even get his tryout? I'm upset. I'm upset. So the, the coach at the end of the last stream did say he wanted it up for only nine games. It hasn't been nine games yet. It's been eight. He should have been up. He hasn't played a single game. That's so annoying. All right, the poll is closed. I guess next season we get to use Connor Bedard. Oh my gosh. We don't even have access to call him up to the team. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. All right, so poll is closed. 59% um, of you said over, 41% said under. Let's see how we do in November. Remember, the over under was set at eight and a half wins. So we got to hit nine to hit the over, eight to hit the under. Let's sim it. We are seven and one without Connor Bedard. 
most annoying thing to happen. There's one win, two wins, three wins, three wins, three wins. Oh, the trade incoming. Rodrigo, no, decline trade. What did we win that last game? Four wins. Ah, we were supposed to be the Golden Knights. We didn't do it. Uh, that's four wins, five wins. Only five wins. Six wins there. Uh, six. We need a couple. Seven. Oh, we're getting Dem. We're getting Demco trades. We could get New Hook, who's holding out. Ooh. Oh. 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 No, we're holding on to Demco. We don't need to trade him right now. We're waiting. Lecky and Newhook, but we'd have to sign Newhook to a new contract for him to play. And that contract's going to be hella expensive. Hella expensive. So we can't do that right now. We're going to decline that trade. I forgot where we... Josh Norris is not playing well. He wants to talk to me. Uh, Jesse Blake, right now, I don't think I'm performing to the best of my abilities. I persuade. I'm not going to agree with that. Josh, you're a great you're a great kid. Hey, maybe you're right. I'm not certain that I can snap out of this. Disagree. Oh, uh, I don't think you need to figure this out. Oh, that wasn't a good conversation. All right, dismiss. I'm sorry, Josh. I'm sorry. There's another win. Let's see. Oh, is that eight or nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wins. Nine wins. Congratulations to all of the crab people who believed in the over. I will pay out the over bets. Choose outcome. The over hit. Well done. Congratulations. You successfully predicted that we would get nine wins in the month of November. Well done. All right. So let's take a, let's take a look at what we're doing right now. Let's take a look at this team. Uh, So New Hook, ooh, New Hook needs to be signed. Else he's not playing this year with Call. So oh, so Colorado tried to get rid of New Hook because if they don't sign him right now, he's not playing for the rest of the year. Wow. Let's see if they signed him. I wonder what happened here. Did somebody else pick him up? It looks like it. Um it looks like somebody must have picked him up. Oh, no. Wow. New Hook's just out. Damn, that's bad GMing. Joey. Joey Sacks. That's bad. I, I would never. I would never. All right. Uh. I said we'd take a look at where we are first. Some of our expiring deals. Let's try and do these. So, <laughs> Doug Lee fan says go chant. Hey. Go, go, there it is. Go, 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 go. We need to lock up some of these, these deals that are expiring. Let's not get into a new hook. Uh, new hook situation. Offer contract extension. Mo Sider. Remember, we're only the GM for another three seasons after this one. So we can do some shorter term deals. Four years. Like we can offer them under like we do four by six, two, you know, we can look at that. Uh, the Monahan deal probably don't need to do that. Probably maybe let him go. Barrett Hayton. Let's see what he wants. That's a lot. Hold off on that. Soderstrom. 4-7. Oh. He's on an entry. Jack McBain. Oh, no. I don't want to trade for asset. Okay, no. Why did why do all these prompts come up? All right, let's get rid of that. All right. Uh so really the only one oh patches we said we wouldn't do. Oops. Why does it keeps going to trade for asset? New hook for Bedard said big uh, code guy. 
no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Um, so patches here. No, we can't do extension. Brown, trade for asset. Yeah, it looks like Cider, Hayton, and Soderstrom is all we can do right now because they're the only three that want an extension. We'll wait on those. The Cider deal. Hello, Joe. Those air horns are for you, Joe. That Cider deal is something we should consider as we get later into the season because that's a good price for Mo Cider. Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so our team right now, we are sitting pretty at 16 and 6. Take a look at some of these point getters. Tarasenko's leading the way. Keller, Patches, Monahan, Shiri. Shiri's having a good season. Patches, Tarasenko leading in goals. Nobody's really running away with it on our team, which is good, I guess. Nice balanced scoring. Entire league here, we got Malkin. Leading the league in goals. Kane, McDavid, Shane Wright. The EA is getting this wrong in terms of his real life performance. Uh, Shane Wright, 15 goals, 22 games. Cooch, Marshan, Galley, all up there. Leading goal scores. And then we currently sit first in the Central Division. It looks like we're going to. Easily walk into the playoffs. Just depends on, hey, first place in the West. That's not bad. Just depends on where we are at from the end of the year. I'm going to put up a prediction for uh, January. You'll have two minutes on the clock to bet your channel points on how many wins you think we'll get in January. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 games. 10 and a half? Nine and a half. Let's do ten and a half. I'm gonna start real high. Uh, ten and a half. Ten and a half. Ah, uh, nine and a half. Nine and a half is better. Nine and a half wins in sixteen games. Keep it real low in the month of January. Over under. You're gonna have two minutes. We're going 10 and a half, 10 and a half, 16. Because last time it was 14, we did eight and a half. So 16, we should do 10 and a half. Awesome. Start prediction. You have two minutes to bet your doubloons on when you, if you think we're going to get 11 wins in January or not, or 10 wins. 10 and a half is the over on our, I'm going to sim through December. Hello to Germany in the chat there. Welcome. The game's at 10.30 tonight. It's absolutely brutal. That's why I'm just chugging this coffee. Give me a late one. Leafs play at 10.30. Uh, Kevin Ball here is on waivers. Do we want a free Kevin Ball? No, we don't. Decline. All right. So 17-9-1. We've lost a couple games here in December. Take that into account on if you think we're going to hit that 10.5 over. Oh, Andre Kasha for pretty much free because a second round and a fifth round. That This is an interesting trade. Anybody in the chat think we should do... Oh, 82 overall. Plays both wings. We're giving up a second round pick. We'll have no salary cap left if we do this deal. I think, I think it's too... It's too close to the cap. It pushes us way too close to the cap there. I don't... <laughs> no cash will end up injured. I think we keep the cap space in the... When we do our deadline deal for Demko or Jari. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no to that one. 7-0 win over Minnesota. Nice. Uh, no decline, Riley. 20-12-1. and one. So far, all right, we are 2014 and one. We've fallen out of first place. We only have 41 points on the year. We are not the all star super team that we are hoping to be, but we're, we're still comfy in a playoff spot. We're still comfy in a playoff spot. I think we're still gonna clearly make it in. Uh, currently, outside the playoffs is 
the star actually we're not that comfy we're only two points up because the other wild cards are held by the Kraken and the Orleans, who are also at 41 points. So we are actually tied for the last playoff spot. We're not that comfy. All right, I hope everybody bet their channel points on whether or not you think we get 10.5 over under wins in the month of January. We have 16 games. Let's sim through. Yeah, let's check and see if anybody was injured first. That's a great point, Main Ahaz. Uh, we'd had a rough December there. Bit of a losing streak. Oh! Hey! Maybe this is why we had a losing streak! Cider! Norris! Chikrin! McBain! All out! Luckily, it's nothing that's gonna affect the playoffs. They're all coming back mid-January, except for Norris, who comes back February. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Now I get why we... <laughs> now I get why we lost a whole bunch of games. Let's go check the rosters. Let's go check the edit lines. See if we have enough players to fill everything. Yeah, Ronnie Attard here is a defenseman who's playing on the forward group. Woo! That's awful. Let's call up Alex Nylander. Get him into the lineup there. Maybe we should have got Andre Kasha. Maybe we should have got Andre Kasha. Wow. Would have been nice to have Connor Bedard, but... Uh, so we're going to call, call up Alex Nylander. Cool. NHL edit lines. Best AHL lines. Amazing. All right. So we're going to... We called up Alex Nylander. We're going to get our NHL line sorted. Amazing. Now we have forwards. In our forward group. We are struggling with these injuries. Wow. We got Keller playing center. This isn't... We, we're going to buy hard at the trade deadline. Let's see if we, what we can do here in January. Over under set at 10 and a half. Let's see what we can do. Start off the month with a win. Well done. Fine trade. One win. Two wins. Nylander's luck. There's two wins. Three wins. Three wins. No. Four. Five. We got five so far. No, decline trade. We got five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, just short. The over-under was set at ten and a half. Let's count them up. That's one win. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 only 10 wins very close hey thank you for cheering marner goat very close but we fall short of the over, over under we got a lot better this month it was a rough it was a rough december we got better in january we got a little more healthy we're back up to second place in the central division if you'll notice on the right hand there i'm gonna pay out the unders for all of you. 51% said under. It was pretty split. 49 said over. Pay out the unders. Complete prediction. Done. Bang. Congratulations. You didn't believe in us. All right. Crab people, here's your button. Crab people. Crab people. Go, 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 go. Trade deadline is in March, so we got another month here. Let's sim through this month. Let's keep it quick. Let's keep it snappy. No, we're not doing that trade. Once we get to the end of February here, it's time to evaluate what trades, where we can improve, what we should send out to get better and hopefully try and win the Stanley Cup this season without Connor Bedard.
because we can't call him up from the CHL because the game is stupid. Uh, so let's see if we want Mark Stahl. No, we don't want 37-year-old Mark Stahl to play on the Roadrunners. That doesn't help us. All right, so we are less than a week away from the trade deadline. Six days away, five days away from the trade deadline. We are 37, 22, and 3. We are first place! First place in the Central Division! Let's go! We had a hot, hot February. Beautiful. Look at the point streak. So in February, we uh, went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that seven wins in Feb? Seven, two, and one. No, seven, three, and one. If I'm counting, or six, three, and one. So one or the other. Um, hot February. Very good. Very good run there in the middle. Yeah, seven wins. Awesome. And we got it back to first place. 77 points. We are very clear of a playoff spot now. The Sharks are the ones sitting on the outside in ninth place with 63 points. Are we competing for the President's Trophy? No, we have 77. Blue ja uh, Lightning lead the league with 82 we're sitting pretty, though. Let's go check. Let's go check our lineup. Let's go check our roster. Let's go check the injuries. See what we can do here. No injuries. Perfect. We are healthy. When this team is healthy, we are so good. We're going to check the stats on Demko and Jari. We are going to see what moves we can make. We need a first-line center. We need. I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I'm really sorry, Josh Norris, but we need something better. I'm sorry, Barrett Hayton, but we need something better. We need a first-line center. Our defense is stacked when it's healthy. Extend the contract of the physio trainers. Ah, yes, mess up the chemistry. Keep your goalies? Am I wrong? Am I... Am I wrong to trade one of Demko and Jari? Please let me know. Let's go look at the stats, people. Doug Lee Finn says yes. All right, all right. Let's go look at the stats. All right, all right. Let's goalies, goalies, goalies. Oh, they're both playing. Excellent. Jari is the backup. Demko's the starter. Demko's been hot. Wow. Two shutouts, 917. Beauty. So, my thing, hear me out. Crab people, crab people, crab people, crab people, crab people. Crab people, crab people. Hear me out. Okay, hear me out. Tristan Jari is a 9-12. He's a 9-12. He's 8-5. Eight 8-5 and five. Eight and five, a 9-12. We can get anybody to do that. We have in our minors Laurent Brassois. We have a backup goalie that's 83 overall. 83 overall. You're telling me that Brassois can't be eight and five with a nine twelve. Come on, Bruce Walker. Be eight and five with a nine twelve. I think we see what we can get for Jari. I'm just saying. Find a trade. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see what's available. Oh, my God. And his trade value is higher than Demko's. He makes more money. He makes $6.3 million. $6.3 million. Oh, no trades found. Uh, there's no trades found. But, you know, there's no trades found. Doesn't mean we can't find a trade ourselves. No trades found. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I also want to see what can we get for our draft picks. 
Um, before we move Demko or Jar before we move Jari, we're not moving Demko. Before we move Jari, uh, let's see if we can get with four our draft picks. This Calgary Flames draft pick, does Calgary suck hard? Uh, let's try the Colorado one. Higgins. Lucic. Highmore. Blackwell. Garyanov. Uh, eh. Nick Patan, everybody. Jeff Carter. Alan Walsh client noted. Alan Walsh client, Jan Ruda. Lazar. Uh, Achari. That's it. There's a couple interesting names in there. Like, what's what's Jeff Carter saying? Is Austin on an expiring deal? That's a good question. Uh, Jeff Carter's an 85. I think we do this deal here. Jeff Carter, veteran presence, 85 overall. That's our second line center. 39, it's a rental. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Robert Malloy says, can we have the quickest recap for those just joining? Robert. Robert, I would, I, yes. Yes, you can have all the recaps you want. Thank you for being here. Robert, here, here's, here's the chicken dancing. Here's the little snail. Thank you for being here. So far, to catch everybody up, if you're just joining the live stream, We've simmed through to five days before the trade deadline. We are fairly good. A couple, um, couple hiccups along the way. First hiccup, Connor Bedard. They won't let him. They won't. The game won't let us play him on the big team. The game sent him down to the CHL, and there's no option to call him up to the NHL. He didn't even get his nine game his nine game tryout. Didn't even get that. We cannot call up Connor Bedard, so he's not on the roster. He's currently playing in the CHL, and we can't call him up. It is very annoying because the team is built around having Connor Bedard as a first line center. But whatever, we are good this year. We are at the trade deadline. We are thirty seven twenty two and three, which is first place in the Central. Now we are trying to make moves to get better. And the move I want to make here is our second round pick for Jeff Carter. Chat, let me know. Do we trade a second round pick? Do I'm going to make a poll. Do we trade a second round pick for Jeff Carter? Yes. No. Start poll. Vote on the poll. Somebody said we don't have the cap. We do have the cap. Look right there. We'd be like 200K under the cap. Jeff Carter, 39 years old, but he's an 85 overall. Uh, Molson says... With my whole chest. No! He'll be slow, and that's an overpayment. I do think the payment for Jeff Carter is a little high. I do think it's a little high. Um, we have two second rounders to fill you up, Ryko, to fill you in. Uh, we have two seconds. We have Calgary's and we have Colorado's because all we do is stack second round picks. We are amazing at stacking second round picks. We are geniuses at stacking second round picks. Um... Let's try. Let's go back to the Jari situation. Can we? I want to check other teams' trade blocks. Like who's out there? Uh, to, 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 to do. How can we do this? There's no trade block board. Trading block. There we go. Who's out there? Who's out there? No, this is ours. Okay. First of all, remove Demko. Why is Dylan Genther out there too? Uh, we're gonna put Jari. There we go. Again, there we're not moving. Uh, there we go. And then our draft picks, draft picks, draft picks, draft picks, draft picks. 
Calgary's and remove and then draft picks, draft picks, draft picks. And then Edmonton. Nope. 2024 Calgary's. And then where's Colorado's 2024? There it is. Boom. All right. Oh, we Genther and Demko morale went up. I didn't know your morale was affected by being on the trade block. I wouldn't have had them there. It's so ridiculous. All right. Jeff Carter. Uh, Browse trading block. There it is. Let's see. Uh, anybody out there? Boston's got nobody big. Buffalo. Krejci. No. If you guys see somebody you like, let me know. And we'll go after them. Right now, nothing kind of tickles my fancy. New hook there. New hook who's been holding out all season. That's a tricky one because once we trade for him, we'd have to give him a contract. And I don't know what kind of contract he'd want and if we'd have the room for it. So I'm not doing that new hook deal. Bobrovsky, we have too many goalies. There's no... Oh, oh, who is that? Who is that? Anze Kopitar, everybody. Anze Kopitar. Write it down. Write it down, Anze Kopitar. That's who we're going after. We're going through the rest of the teams, then we're going back to Anze. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's who we want. That's, that's who it is. With the, it's a waste of time going through the rest of this. Yeah. Oh, Jumbo's still in the league. Poor Jumbo. Uh, Ryan Ellis, no. Jeff Carter, there he is. There's the boy. Uh, Timo, that's interesting. Cheaper deal. Seattle's got no one. St. Louis, Tampa, Strabalopolis, Toronto, SDA. All right. It is go time. It's either Anze Kopitar, Timo Meyer, or Jeff Carter. On the uh, the Jeff Carter poll, by the way, the Jeff Carter poll ended with 53% saying, yes, we trade for Jeff Carter. 47 said no. So the majority of the AGMs want to trade for Jeff Carter, which is very interesting. Um, Kopitar, I think. Let's see what it would take. First things first. Select. So let's go back. So Kopitar, Jeff Carter, and Timo Meyer. So we're going to do those trades. We're going to find a trade. Timo would be nice. Uh, let's do this. Let's go to good old Kopi. Kopi is not a thing. Uh, let's find a trade. Oh, nope. No, 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 no. That's too much. All right. So that's one where it's too much. Because this, I guess, because of the salary, it's a little more difficult. Uyghur? Uyghur? No. No. And then what's Jeff Carter? Jeff Carter. Third round. Oh. Hello. Free Jeff Carter. All right. Free Jeff Carter is what we're doing. Yeah. Insane insanity says you're going to have to lose something to either get Meyer or Kopi. It's uh it's it sucks. So we're not doing that. 
So what we're going to do here is we're going to try and keep the, the prospect Rodrigue because um, if I remember, he turns out to be decent. So let's try and keep Rodrigue and just do like a third and a fourth for Jeff Carter. Oh my gosh! Hello! Free Jeff Carter! Let's go! All right, Jeff Carter is now an Arizona Coyote. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's set the lineup for free. Um, go, 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 go. Yes, now we are a little better down the middle. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Hey, thank you for following. Circa 302. All right. So where else can we improve? Uh, What do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? So we got Jeff Carter down the middle. We got Josh Norris. We got Barrett Hayton. We got Sean Monahan. Tatar, Shiri, Confi. That's a good bottom six. That bottom six is solid. Solid bottom six. <laughs> Robert Malloy says we can improve in our hearts. Our wings. Our wings are fantastic. I guess we can improve over Connor Brown. Like our second line winger. Because we're not getting better than uh, Tarasenko. We get like defense. Maybe Soderstrom. We move him down. Zub gets scratched. And we go for a uh, second pairing right D. A better second line, like we can do that. Uh, let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you the scratched players, because remember we still have Jari to trade. We can always hold on to Jari. Jan is scratched. Logan Stanley, Ethan Bear. Like if we hold on to Jari, then we trade him this off season, I guess. Is there any other improvements? Can we look at the AHL? This. This is our AHL right now. We got Nylander. We got Genther. We got Aberdeezy. We got Jack McBain. Liam Kirk is out here. Liam Kirk is out here doing Kirk things. Um, Brian Little, old man, 36. We got Ronnie Attard, Connor Timmins, Josh Brown, Moser, goalies. We got Bersois and Rodrigue. Rodrigue is a great prospect. Glad we didn't have to give him up. Fantastic. Third and a fourth for Jeff Carter. That's beautiful. Um, so the Crazy Canuck says I'd go for a first line center, a second line right wing, or a second pair D man. Yeah, those are the three weak spots we've kind of identified in the team. And all we've got is Tristan Jar. We got Jari to move. We got Jari to move, and we need to go for it every year. We need to go for it every year. We can't waste time. We need to just sell. Like, there's no... We have four years here. We have five years. We have four runs at the Cup. So right now, it looks like David Krejci is an option. Krejci's old. I don't know if we have the salary to do that, but if we give up Jari, we could. Tyler Johnson, he's not probably not good enough. New hook, we can't do the deal. Pablo Francis, we can't do that. I'm just seeing what else is out there. Maybe we get to the... Like, do we do the defenseman? Do we do Suter? Maybe we should start looking at for defenseman, because I'm being blinded to the defenseman aspect of this. Um... Who do we got? Who do we got? Who do we got? Who do we got? Olafson, like, he'd probably push Connor Brown down. No, sir. No suitor, people say. Uh, the crap people say. No suitor. Tanner Pearson is out here. Ilya Mikheyev. That's still, like, third line. 
Damn, someone off is an 89. Damn. High overall. Timo Meyer would cost too much. We tried that. LeBlanc, Berbanov, Lindbaum, Jeff Petrie, Jan Ruda, Ryan Ellis. Four years left. Uh uh. Uh uh. You won't trick me into doing that, Philadelphia. You will not. Keandre Miller. Keandre Miller. There it is. Find a trade. Let me see how much this would cost. It can't be that much. Spare D. We get a little better on D. For Keandre, who's not going to cost a lot. Who's an RFA. Oh, who's not playing. Keandre Miller is sitting out right now and not playing. Oh. So we'd have to sign him. I don't know what he's asking for. That's why it's so tough here. Ooh. Let's not... Let's not risk that. We might give up an asset. Yeah, the, and like you, because even if you trade him, we still can't sign him because it's after December 1st. We couldn't still sign him and he couldn't play this year. So let's not do that. Let's not. Yeah, no. Can't even. Doesn't make sense. All right. Uh, browse trading block. Yeah. Yeah. No, great point in the chat. Like, even if you get traded, you still can't play. I'm pretty, that's how it works, right? Unless, like, you get traded and then that's waived. I don't know. NHL's got the weirdest deal, weirdest rules. Um, all right. So it looks like we might be good with our lineup. We might just keep Jari. We'll see what happens at the actual. Oh, Sean Walker, 82 overall. What side does he play? Right D. So he would be, oh, okay. Let's see Sean Walker. Sean Walker would be an improvement on our third pairing defenseman on Zub. So we could get Walker. We'd plug him in here where Zub is. Is that... Let's go to the trade deadline. Let's, let's go to the trade deadline. You guys discuss whether you want Sean Walker there. And uh, let's go. Let's see what we can do. Go grab some sewn off. We oh he's injured. Jeff Carter, you just got here. Right now, I do not feel like playing 15 minutes is enough ice time given my abilities. Persuade. You just got here. Shut up. Yeah, shut up, Jeff Carter. You've played two games. You played two games on our team. You're 40 years old. No exaggeration. You're 39. Jeez. We are a buyer. Enter trade deadline. All my homies dislike Jeff Carter, says the crazy Canuck. You best believe that. No, we are not trading Demko. Jari is the one on the block. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see what's out there. Okay, a lot of RFA deals that didn't go through. That's uh, a little unre unrealistic here, uh, EA. Let's get some more RFA deal signed through. We got Timo Meyer. Oh, trade alert. Who got traded? Gavrikov, not a big deal. Okay, so exit that, exit that, exit that. Timo Meyer, I'm going to hit L1. To get Timo Meyer, it costs Uyghur, Hayton, Comfer. Genther, Norris, Haig, Keller, Haig, Comfort. It's too expensive. Timo Meyer, you are out. You are not in our hopes and dreams. Kopitar, what were you? Last check. Norris, Trevor Moore, McBain, you are not in our hopes and dreams. Lekkinen got traded. Akinpah went the other way. Um, Krejci, no trades found. A lot of goalies. We don't need goalies. Matt Zuccarello. No trades found for us. Jamie Benn. No trades found. Uh, Keandre Miller can't play. Kalorn. Kalorn deal would look like Haig, Bear. Eh. 
We don't really have the cat space for that one. That's an interesting one. Maybe we re revisit Kalorn, who's an 84 left wing. Felino. Hague, fourth and a fourth. Okay, okay, okay. We're not getting Samsonov. We have Tristan Jari and Thatcher Demko. Why would we get Ilya? Yeah, yeah. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense at all. Uh, Nick Haig. So we're going to take Nick Haig off that. Uh, we're going to trade one of our scratch defensemen, which would be uh, Ethan Bear. Artem Zub is the bottom pairing there. But we have Ethan Bear and Logan Stanley scratched. Maybe we could even give... Is there a prospect we give out? How much does Ethan Bear make? Three years, 2.2. Ooh, okay. Incoming offer, a second, second. No, decline. I was in the middle of a trade. Oh my gosh, it kicked me out. Okay, so what was that deal? I feel like there's a Felino here. Or there's a... Yeah, we could do this. One year left. It's expiring. What's Olofsson? Olofsson's left wing. Felino's. Left wing, 84, one year, 5 million. That doesn't make sense. Urbana, Tyler Johns. Oh, my gosh. Keep, keeps kicking me out. Uh, What's the Tyler Johnson deal? 83 center, 5.4. No, too much money. Jason Zucker is only 2.6. Garyanov, 83, Tanner Pearson. There's there's a couple deals in here. Oh, okay. Stop kicking me back to the front every time there's a trade. All right. There's a couple deals in here that we can 100% do. And we're just going to try and upgrade in every single position we can because we only have so many years we can go for it. So what we got here is that Tyler Johnson deal or okay Josh Bailey left wing no okay let's go back once again it kicked me out because the Tanner Pearson was Tanner Pearson was 3.283 and then the Zucker's three years left Urbana Suter Olsen Felino Felino was 3.1. We can do this Felino deal. Oh, I have to hit L1. Jumbo to win the cup. We don't do favors here. We are trying to win, and doing a favor doesn't help anybody. Haig, Fourth, and Stanley. That's interesting. I don't hate it. We gotta remove Hag though. We gotta upgrade. Maybe it's a second round pick. Thumbs up. Can I get a thumbs up from the chat? A second, a fourth, and Logan Stanley for Felino. Yes. Yes. A little too much. A little too little. Boo. Ooh, we're getting boos. People like seconds. Ah, oh, boo. Okay, okay, okay. I don't get approval from my AGMs. We have so many seconds. I'm just trying to send them to the moon, people. We don't need to hang on to our second round picks. Like, there's no reason to hang on to them. They are for championships, and we want championships. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. We did it with a couple fourths. Oh, my gosh. I'm no, don't even listen to me. Don't, don't I, I'm stupid. Let's go. We are a little uh, over the cap. Who said, okay, do you want to look at the Leafs? What's Austin Matthews doing? What's Austin Matthews doing? Uh, somebody said, look at the Leafs. Can we do Austin Matthews? 
Uh, Austin Matthews still has another year left. Oh no, he's free just after this year. Um, so we could do Connor Bedard for Austin Matthews. I don't think that's worth it. We should do. We should wait till the off season. Sign Austin Matthews to a contract. Then it's free. Check if Matthew signed an extension. That's a good idea. Also, we are out of salary cap space, so we're done here. Uh, we're done trading. This is our team. This is our team. That we are. Oh, Timo Meyer did get moved. Cool. Uh, decline. That's our team. All right. So we got a couple things to do. We got a couple things to sort out. We got a couple things to check. We need to get situated. We need to get comfy. This is our first playoff run. We got to check Austin Matthews, first of all, to see if we can sign him this offseason. Uh, Austin Matthews. Yes, he. Oh, my gosh. He signed a one year extension. Wow. Matthew signs a one year extension, $10.4 million, UFA after next season. That's interesting. We'll see what we can do. That's not a problem for now. There's nothing we can do about that. Let's go out and give Mo Sider his money. I think that's something we should do right now before it gets too expensive. So Jeff Carter wants an extension. Connor Brown wants an extension. Off of contract. <laughs> Connor Brown's a free agent. We're not doing that deal. Mo wants seven mil by four. We're going to try and get this down as low as possible because we're in a win now mode. We're going to do three. One year for Mo, 6.8. I wonder if we could do 6.7. Priority status RFA. So we still have him under, under control. We're going to do a one year deal, two year deal. Oh, he's still an RFA at the end of three. Yeah, let's do this 6.6. .6. Mo, boom. 6.6. .6. Uh, still an RFA at the end of that. We'll figure it out when we get there. Let's try that. Uh, Nick Haig, let's see what he wants. Four, that's a lot. Soderstrom, let's see what he wants. 4.9, that's a lot. Jan. Millie. He wants a Millie for one year. Yes, we can do that. Want, nah, he's 80 overall. We can get two-way players for that price. Bellino, five. Oh my gosh, everybody costs so much. We're going to have a whole new roster next year. I can't afford any of these players. We're going to go Austin Matthews diving. So we're going to try and do that because Moe's kind of the only one I want to bring back. All right. We have a lot of cap space. We have $25 million, but everybody wants crazy extensions. So we're just going to leave it. Connor Bedard is like our biggest asset right now because he's on an entry level. In the system right now, expiring, we got... Who can we do a deal with? Anybody? Liam Kirk, we should probably bring back. Offer extension, two-way. Three years. Two-way. 950. Can you do that, Liam? That'd be cool. Uh, free money, as always. Dylan Genther still signed through. Let's see what else. What else? Oh, let me just sort first of all. Ooh, a lot of RFA expiries. Okay, so Kirk, Moser, I'll bring you back. No, you want a one way? Uh uh, you're not good enough. One way, you're not good enough, Connor Timmons. Ronnie Atard, two way. That's what I like to see. All right. Nine nine fifty is the max I can do. Let's see if Ronnie will do that. Alex, two way. Alex, let's go. Here's nine twenty five. Take that. All right, Jack Mc 
Spain. Two way. Let's do two years for you, Jack. Offer. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can have this deal. You're decent. Pospisil. 74-24. I don't even want you on the roster. Like, you can have one year deal. You can come back. You're young. You're kind of young. All right. Uh, 77 McCartney. Yes. Cool. And you're 62 overall. No. Do you, how much do you want? Yes, you can come back. Awesome. And then we got a lot of free agents that we're going to let go because you guys are 30 years old and we don't need you in the system. All right. So, this is our lineup. Trade deadline has passed. This is what we have. Head coach preferred lines. Oh, things have switched around a little. What are we, okay, let me see. Scratched. Oh, Clayton Keller's injured. Thank goodness we got Felino. Clayton Keller's injured. Let me check the roster moves because we're right up against the cap, right? Cap sp oh, my. look at the cap space. Tell me, tell me we're not good GMs. We have $67,000. We have $67,000 in cap space. We are leafing this up. I think we should set a poll on whether or not we will win the central division. So let's do a prediction. Start a prediction. So will we win the central? Yes. No. All right. Everybody's going to have two minutes to bet your doubloons on whether or not you think we are going to win the Central. The prediction is live. Bet your channel points. Let me know. Currently, we are, we have 79 points. We are first place. The Blues are in second. And they have 76 points. The Avalanche are behind us. And third as well with 76 points. So, Robert Moore says, you can use this two minutes to talk about Easter Seals. And yes, I can. Easter Seals Ontario. It helps families with children with physical disabilities. They run the, like fantastic camps every year. If you listen to Steve Dangle podcast, you've heard us talk about Easter Seals Ontario. Um, there are these fantastic camps where children with physical disabilities go and they, they have the times that they should and they have the fun that they should be having. Um, we raise money for them every year. And once again, our hockey team, the Rachel's Raiders, are going to be playing in their tournament, the Eric Lindros Celebrity Classic, in support of Easter Seals Ontario. And we need funds to play hockey. So if you hit the link in the chat right now that says donate to Jesse's Easter Seals page, you can donate to my page where I've reached my fundraising goal. So if you also want to donate to Steve Dangle's page, it is there. You can click like the rest, you can click team from that page and then go to like Steve's page or Adam Wiles page, who is also the co-host on Steve Dangle podcast. You can go there and you can donate to our team because Easter Seals is a fantastic organization and they need all the money they can get. Help Steve reach his goal. I believe we have a lofty team goal of like 75,000. Um, if that's, I think that's the number off the top of my head. Uh, help us reach that if you are willing and able. We greatly appreciate it. And you know what? If you donate, the snail is going to dance for you. Snail dances when people donate. There you go. All right. And then Jacob Chickren's out here, too. Here's a little confetti. Crab people. Crab. All right. Is that two minutes? I think our prediction's over, right? Let's sim. 
Let's see if we can win the Central. We're going to make the playoffs. We have our first ever playoff run. We're going to sim. Oh, yeah, Mo's coming back. Ah, uh, Ronnie Atar doesn't want a two-way. Hey, Jack McBain's coming back. Possible sale. Awesome, awesome. Liam Kirk didn't want it. Matias. Hey, Alex is coming back. So the Mo Sider deal we got done, which is good. Two more years. Uh, Toronto's placing... Oh, it's a Toronto! Toronto is placing a player on waivers! Let's do the bit! Let's do the bit! Let's do the bit! Kyle Dubis, screw you! Let's go! Kyle, you idiot! How dare you put a player on waivers! We have to claim him no matter what! Let's do the bit! Claim! Claim! Yeah, let's go! Alright, we did it. We claimed him. We're never gonna re-sign him, but we did it. Alright. Jeff Carter wants to talk. We did it. We did it. Hell yeah, Dubis. Screw you. Screw you, Dubis. Jeff Carter, like what we told him, by the way. Arizona took a player from Toronto. What's more beautiful than that? Nothing. All right. Uh, we're still in first place. Let's go. Hey, we're going to run away with the Central. That is beautiful. Looks like we're up four points on the Avs right now. Is this player coming from Toronto? No! Decline! Uh, we're going to win the Central here. Ooh! LA fired their head coach. That sucks. He's out of, out of a job. Uh, playoffs, here we come for the first time in a long time. 102 points! Let's go! The Arizona Coyotes have 48 wins on the year, 28 losses, and 6 OTLs. First place in the Central. Division champs. I'm going to pay out. Everybody who believed in us, choose outcome. Yes, we won the Central. Celebrate Pop Champagne today. We have won the Central Division. Well done. Well done, everybody. We have built a contender. A certified contender boy. NHL season is complete. We will play the Seattle Kraken. Oh, we didn't get 28 home wins? Oh, that sucks. All right, Seattle Kraken is our first round opponent. Let's check and see if we are healthy. Uh, injury report. Oh, my God. We are not. We are not healthy. Uh, April 22nd, April 21st, Soderstrom and Josh Norris, which isn't too far away. That's like five days, but like we have like four playoff games in between that. Jeff Carter is our number one center going into the playoffs. Head coach preferred lines. Like, not great. Not great. <sighs> All right. So. We've done the best we could. We've done everything we can with this lineup. We've put this team in a position to win. Let's see what we can do here. Seattle Kraken. Arizona Coyotes. First round of the playoffs. 2024. Can we get Main Haas? Main Haas. Yes. Can we get a go train? 
for the first playoff game. I want goes in the chat. Nonstop goes. Let's go. We cannot call up Connor Bedard, by the way. I'm checking. I'm checking. Uh, we can call up Neilander, but like it's not going to help. Keep spamming that go. Let's go. Go. Go till we get a train. Once we get a train, we'll sim this first game. And we'll see how it goes. Let's get a go train. Let's go. And play some music. Shake your booty. Let's get a go train, everybody. Let's get a go train. Yeah. Go train. Go train! Let's go! Amazing. That's a count up to 10. I thought it would be a count down to 10, but that button counts up to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. We got the go train. Go, 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 go. Let's sim these first two games. We're calendar simming it. Calendar sims have worked well for us in the past. Oh, that's a good idea. Who said prediction? Prediction, 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 prediction. Yes, prediction. Will we win? Will we, uh, will we advance to the second round? Yes or no? All right, you got one minute, one minute, get your bets in. Will we advance to the second round? We have two injuries. This is the lineup. I will show you the lineup for the Seattle Kraken. I will show you the lineup for the Arizona Coyotes first. The Seattle Kraken, this is their lineup. They have Shane Wright, Jared McCann, Bertuzzi, Burkowski, Eberle. They kind of suck. Donato, Yanni Gord. On D, they have Lindell, Larson, Jensen, Vince Dunn. They kind of suck. I think we can do this. This isn't going to be very hard. They have Grubauer and they have Drieger. For us, we have Josh Norris who's injured. Um, injury report, Josh Norris is injured as well as Soderstrom. But our lineup is still looking good. We got Jeff Carter, Clayton Keller, Patches, Hayton, Connor Brown, Tarasenko, Felino, Comfy, Trevor Moore, Tatar, Monahan, Sheary, and on D. We got Weger, Sider, Chikorin, Zoo, Bear, Haig, in goal, we got Demko, and we got Jari. I hope everybody has placed their bets on if they think we'll advance to the second round. Submissions have closed. 85% of you believe in the Arizona Coyotes. Let's go. This is our first playoff series of this franchise mode sim. We are playing the Seattle Kraken. It's a big deal. I hope we can do it. We are hosting the Kraken. We won the division. Here we go. First two games. We lost the first one. I think we lost the first one. Seven. We lost it seven. Okay, we won the second game. We lost the first game seven two. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. We're going to count up to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No! Okay, okay, okay. We're down. We're down. 2 1. We've been down 1 0. We can come back. Josh Norris lost more alpha being injured. Is Josh. He didn't, did he not come back? Oh my gosh. 
Uh, playable injury. Thank goodness. Nick Hague is injured though now. Oh my, that's that's more replaceable. So that's okay. It's okay. We're getting healthy here. We're getting healthier. Josh Norris is back in the lineup. Let's go. Uh, our D. Uyghur Cider Chikrin Soderstrom Bear Zoop. Hags out, but that's okay. That's our third pairing defenseman. We got Josh Norris back. He's injured, but he's playable, which is good. <sighs> All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. We're only down 2 1. I'm going to hit this. I'm going to count up to 10 after I hit the go button. Okay, so we're down 3-1 in the first round. We're, the boys are a little nervous. Team's a little nervous. They haven't been in a playoff series in a long while. They start, they're starting off slow. Uh, they're down 3-1. Not great. It's not a good team we're up against. Um, somebody said, let's get Snail for good luck. Let's bring him out. Snail, do your jig, do your dance. Get Panda out here too. Panda, Panda's good. Panda's good at stuff. Crab people, this is your button. Crab people, crab people. This is it. We are on the brink of elimination. Down three one. To the Seattle Kraken in the first round of the playoffs. Go, 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 go. I am going to count up to 10 through this button. And once it counts up to 10, I'm going to hit X on the controller. And our fate will be sealed. Let's go! Let's go! Down 3-1, but not out! It's 3-2! Let's go. Let's check and see if we got uh, a little healthier. Let's go. Great win. We're still in this. 3 Oh, God. Um, every game, there's another injury. Now Connor Brown's out. Every single game, there's another injury for our team. What the hell is happening? Every game, there's an injury. Thank goodness we're, we're deep now in the depth forward group, but like Connor Brown would be great on the second line there. That would have been awesome. Ah. Uh, ah. All right. Uh, let's go back. This is it. 3-2. We are on the brink of elimination once again. Uh, we can't lose another game. There's no one to call up. Alex Nylander, he's an 80 overall. He wouldn't crack. Uh, he wouldn't take Tatar's spot. Doug Lee fan. We just got to play with the guys we got. This is our lineup. Leafs lost to Columbus. 4-1. Drowsy dad. All right, we're going to sim it here. We're going to count up to 10 as we do. We're going to hit go. Up to 10. Game seven! We forced game seven! We forced game seven! Let's go! You know what? We're coming back. We're coming back on Tuesday. We're coming back on Tuesday. We're watching game seven. We're watching game seven on Tuesday. We're going to watch the whole thing. 
I don't have time to watch the, uh, the whole thing now, but we're going to watch it on Tuesday. Tuesday is watch game seven time. Uh, be there or be square. We're watching game seven on Tuesday. I did set a prediction. I just won't pay it out. I can just not pay it out. How do, okay, I got to cancel the prediction. Uh, delete. Will we advance to the second round? Delete. Delete and return points. I, I deleted and I returned the points. Everybody, don't yell at me about the prediction. Head coach preferred lines. Did we get another injury? If we got another injury, I just, I'm deleting the game. Oh, my... Confer's out now. So we got another injury. Um, we're going to come back on Tuesday and watch game seven. I'm trying to see, is there... Ooh, Mark Andrews is playing tonight for the, uh, the Ravens. He's in my fantasy lineup, so that's a good start. Uh, I'm trying to see if the Leafs play on Tuesday. Uh... Just sim game seven. Good lord, he has to eat dinner. Just sim it. We need to know what happens. You guys gotta wait. You gotta wait till Tuesday. I don't have time to sim the whole thing. At least play at ten thirty. There's like it's it's so close to that time, you know. I gotta get ready for that game. Gotta go to warm ups. <laughs> I'm trying to see at least play on Tuesday. Um, no, they don't play on Tuesday, so we can do sometime in the evening. We can go at like seven. And do like 7 o'clock on Tuesday, everybody. Is that good? 6 o'clock on Tuesday? 7 o'clock? Watch the game. You know, have fun. Three-minute periods. Oh, uh, no. S the suit is for the Stanley Cup final. Doug Lee fan, the suit is not coming out until the Stanley Cup final. That is reserved for uh, the press box of the Stanley Cup final. You know that. Uh, thank you. Thank you for being here. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here watching us get to the brink of elimination, force a game seven, three, one versus the Seattle Kraken. I hope to see you on Tuesday to see the conclusion of if we win or not. <laughs> you guys are so mad. Why are you so mad? We're going to be around. It's going to be around like 630 or seven on Tuesday. We're going to sit down. We're going to enjoy this. We're going to watch the game. It's game seven. Force after down 3-1. We'll be back. All right. Uh, this is your button here for how you're feeling. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, stop booing me! I'll, I'll see you on Tuesday. Take care. Donate to our Easter Seals if you can, if you are willing and able. Crab people, I love you! You are my favorite. The snail loves you too. I will see you on Tuesday. Good night from Toronto.